Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel for selling eBay products. <clears throat> I've got this Panasonic DVD player slash DVD recorder. Model number DMREZ17. I just want to show you that it works properly. So, the way this thing works is you have to have another device playing a video that you send to this and you make your own DVD. <clears throat> There's several different ways of hooking it up and I've got it hooked up a bunch of ways. I'm going to show you all of them. Um, so right now in the other DVD player that you can't see I've got this elf movie playing. I'm sending it over to here. So it's getting it from input one right now. Input one is on the back. It is RCA cables or S video cable. They're both input one. S video overrides. When I unplug S video, you'll see a flash. And then it goes to RCA. Input two, that's the RCA up front. Channel three, that's coax cable. It's getting its signal through coax. So now, I want to verify that this sends the video out to the TV multiple ways. Do I hit the wrong button? So it's sending out the one way, video two, which it'll be different on your TV. Oh, video 2, that was RCA, I forgot to say. It sends it out in S-Video. And it sends it out, I call them component cables. It's these five cables here, blue, red, green, white, red. So now you see that it will accept video multiple ways and it will send the video out multiple ways. Got a blank DVD R. I'm gonna throw in. So I hit the record button on the remote. There's a record button up here also. This comes with the original owner's manual. So you don't have to remember what I'm saying. But there's ways that you can set up the recording for in the future. Different dates, different times, multiple times. This video that I'm making is going to be long. Because I'm not going to make any cuts in it. I want it to be one continuous shot. Just so, you know, nothing's going on in between shots. This ought to be enough. So I'm going to hit stop. So, before you can play this in other players, you've got to finalize it. Like I said, it comes with instruction book, but I'm hitting functions, other functions, DVD management, 
Finalize. Yes. Start. And this part takes a few minutes. I've never finalized a disc, you know, that had this little of a recording on it. I don't know that it makes a difference. I've never compared the two, but whenever I, I record something, I usually will fill the disc up, and it's normally quicker than this. It would seem like it'd be the opposite, but it's just the way it is. This DVD recorder is going to come with the original remote, uh, the original owner's manual, uh, a quick setup guide, power cord, and lots of cables. I don't even know what all I'm going to throw in there yet, but I'm going to put a little bit of everything, more than you need. Lots of, lots of cables. Probably a couple RCAs. S video, a component, some coax cables, both white and black. And then some other cables that you don't need to make it look like, you know, there's more stuff there, a bigger, better deal help it sell faster just being honest you know like HDMI Ethernet USB I'm sure you can use it for something around the house I wonder this is taking a while I wonder if I should take some like video editing software and fast forward this part here. I, I don't know, I'll decide. But yeah, this is taking a while. It does not take this long whenever the disc is full, for whatever reason. Look at this phone, make sure it's still recording. Nine minutes, wow.
Well, I guess the point to this story is don't record 40 second videos and try to finalize the disc. Getting close. Right. Oh, let's play it. Show you that it plays. Oh, one more thing. It's got digital audio out, the optical audio. This to you, but you think you can help me pick up the slack on those edges? Can't Hear it on surround No problem. Zone. I appreciate it. Buddy's killing me. Honey, you got... All right, thanks for watching.